We are interested in direct messages. All right. So just thinking about how these should look in the database, they're kind of like rooms. Um, we could have a key that's like DMs. And inside there, we could do this a couple of ways. If we weren't terribly concerned with the um, with the storage space, and maybe we're not, um, it would be pretty easy to just like scope it by user ID here. Um, so we'll, we'll pretend they're usernames just for the sake of illustration here. And then so dstrews, that would be all of my uh, DMs. So I'd have my DMs with Dana here. like that. And then she would just have another one that's kind of the same. So we'd have the same messages in there twice. So not the most storage efficient thing, but it would be relatively straightforward to do. Another thing we could do, uh, we have rooms now. And the rooms each have names and description. We could also have a list of users. So we could just make DMs basically rooms with restricted access. Um, and when we're going through the rooms and de deciding whether to display them on the screen, we just filter out the ones um, that that person shouldn't have access to. We could even add something like um, DM is true or false. So we could separate rooms and DMs in the list on the sidebar too. Since technically they're, they're basically the same thing, right? They're just rooms, they're just special rooms. So we could do something like that. We could treat them as, as regular rooms and just have an extra flag on there that says whether it's a DM or not. What do you think about that? It seems, seems kind of reasonable. We probably also need a, a list of users somewhere. Yes. Yeah, we'll be we'll we'll each each message will take up twice as much space as it needs to in our database. So, so if have the two body that's why it was well not so not why I have the two bodies. It's why I have two entire separate arrays here, okay. right? This is the same conversation. This is the same message. Same message is in here twice. Once scoped under me, then her. Once scoped under her, then me. So that's one way we could do it. That would probably be really easy, but it's not super efficient. Treating DMs as rooms seems better. Yeah. Could also have like private is true or false. Um, so that if it's if it's not private, then you know we don't need a user list. So we would kill two birds with one stone with this. We would make private rooms and we would make DMs because they're basically conceptually the same thing. The rooms that not everyone can see that only have certain users in them. So I think we need a list of users, a list of available users that you can even DM, right? <coughs> so we probably need to do something like that too. So let's see about that. The list of users should probably go at the top level. <coughs> 